Hey everyone, welcome back to Rewilding the Future. Today we're talking about the pronghorn, Antilocapra americana, is a remarkable ungulate native to North America, known for its incredible speed, unique evolutionary lineage, and resilience in arid and open landscapes. Though often called an antelope, the pronghorn is not closely related to African or Asian antelopes. Instead, it represents a completely separate family, Antilocapridae, and is the only surviving member of a once diverse group. Pronghorn inhabit open landscapes where visibility and speed are key to survival, sagebrush steppes, grasslands, deserts, and arid lowland prairies. They favor areas with a mosaic of shrubs for browse, grasses for forage, and gentle slopes that facilitate long-distance running. Seasonal movements often lead herds between higher elevation summer ranges and lower elevation winter habitats to access food and avoid deep snow. Adult pronghorns typically stand 80 to 100 centimeters at the shoulder and weigh between 35 and 65 kilograms, with males slightly larger than females. Their reddish-brown coat, white underparts, and prominent white rump patches are highly distinctive. The horns are unique, bony cores covered with a keratinous sheath that is shed and regrown annually. Both sexes have horns, though males are larger and shaped like lyres. Pronghorns are primarily browsers and grazers feeding on a mix of grasses, sagebrush, forbs, and other low-growing vegetation. Their diet shifts seasonally. In winter, they rely more on shrubs. In spring and summer, they graze on forbs and grasses. They obtain most of their water needs from plants, but will drink when sources are available. Pronghorn are gregarious outside the breeding season, forming single-sex bachelor and doe herds of dozens to hundreds. During the rut, late August to October, Bucks establish territories displaying by marking with dung piles and rubbing shrubs. Dominant males gather harems of females after a 7.5 to 8 months gestation does give birth, usually in late spring, to one or two fawns. Fawns hide in vegetation for the first days of life, then keep pace with the herd within weeks, gaining speed to escape predators. Adult pronghorns are preyed upon by coyotes, bobcats, mountain lions, bears, golden eagles targeting fawns, and wolves in some northern populations. Historically, dire wolves and short-faced bears, American lions and American cheetah also preyed on pronghorns. Human-induced threats, most notably vehicle collisions on highways bisecting migration corridors, pose significant mortality risks today. The pronghorn has a unique evolutionary history, having diverged from other ruminants over 20 million years ago. Fossils reveal that North America once supported multiple species of antilocoprids with diverse horn shapes. The modern pronghorn likely evolved during the Miocene to Pleistocene transition, adapted for life in open habitats and predator avoidance. Its speed evolved not to outrun today's predators, but to escape the now extinct American cheetah. Today, pronghorns occupy Western and Central North America, from Southern Canada through the Great Plains and down into Northern Mexico. They once ranged as far east as Ohio and as far south as central Mexico. Habitat loss and fragmentation eliminated pronghorns from much of their former eastern range by the early 20th century. For indigenous plains peoples, pronghorn were an important food and clothing resource. Their speed and grace feature in folklore and ceremonial dances, and traditional techniques, such as buffalo jump style drives, reflected deep ecological knowledge. Today, Pronghorn remain an iconic symbol of the American West and are celebrated by hunters, wildlife watchers, and conservationists alike. From a low of fewer than 20,000 individuals in the early 20th century, pronghorn numbers have rebounded thanks to strong conservation measures, including hunting regulations, habitat protection, and translocation. Today, the population is estimated at over 1 million, though some subspecies like the Sonoran pronghorn remain endangered due to desert habitat loss and fragmentation. Rewilding efforts focus on habitat restoration, migration corridor protection, for example, Wyoming's Path of the Pronghorn, and the reintroduction of pronghorns to suitable but unoccupied parts of their historic range. Some biologists and conservationists have proposed introducing pronghorns to South American grasslands or even parts of Europe as ecological analogs, but these ideas remain speculative. Rewilding projects also emphasize predator coexistence, fence modification, and public education to ensure the long-term survival of this iconic species. Thank you for joining us on the windswept trails of North America to meet the pronghorn. 
nature's unrivaled sprinter and survivor of the great grasslands, from its record-shattering speed to its ancient lineage, the pronghorn reminds us how evolution shapes extraordinary lives. If you enjoyed this journey with the pronghorn, please give this video a thumbs up to show your support. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss our next wild adventure. Have questions about pronghorn behavior or conservation? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And to keep exploring remarkable wildlife, click on the video appearing right here. Until next time, keep your curiosity running free, and I'll see you in the next expedition.